Today's adventure is going to be spatchcock chicken. Uh, I don't know if anybody has ever had it before, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It's going to be on the grill. Uh, basically, what you do is you cut the backbone out of a chicken or a turkey, uh, flip it over, and push down on it. You'll be breaking the uh, breastplate, so it sits nice and flat on the grill. It's going to really come out nicely. Uh, so the first step is uh, this. This was a frozen chicken, so we thawed it uh, all day yesterday in the fridge. And uh, then today, the second day, we're going to put our salt brine on. Kind of a nice, uh, everybody does a wet brine. A lot of people do wet brines. I found out that, you know, this is just a lot easier just doing a dry brine. And all we're using is just kosher salt. And you're just going to rub it in there. You want to dry the bird very well before you start. Don't forget that. Don't forget to take the giblets out of the inside. And we'll let this sit 24 hours in the fridge, uncovered, uncovered. And uh, it's going to be really good. It just makes it juicier and better, I think. The bird has all been rinsed off. And the excess salt is removed, dried it off. And the first step to spatchcocking a chicken is just a fancy term for basically, you know, cutting off the backbone. So this is the side that has the breasts, right? That's, not where, that's where the breast bone is, of course. So you flip it over. Here's the gross backbone. And you just simply take your shears and cut down right along that backbone. It's it a little bit tough to cut sometimes. that come down this side and what's this this is gonna allow us to do is to have a much bigger area to put my one of my secret seasonings on you can do this with a turkey it takes a lot of strength I've done it before now you gotta get rid of this guy Now you flip the flip the uh, bird over. Simply press down on this on the breastplate. And there you have it. So we'll be seasoning this baby up. Start with a little bit of uh, just canola oil, nothing fancy. Uh, just put a little in there. Gonna rub it around a little bit, and this is gonna help the dry rub stick a little bit. I hope. Some oil on this side. Nice little oil bath. Every year at the Fiery Foods Fest, the bride and I, we go and we look hunt this guy down, Simi J's Gourmet Dry Rub. Uh, you could use my regular dry rub if you'd like, but uh, this is this is pretty good stuff. It doesn't have any uh, dry mustard in it, but highly recommended. Great guys, great company. So we're gonna just liberally sprinkle this on, rub it in as usual. Rub that in. All the nooks and crannies. And we're gonna let this sit for maybe a half an hour with all this goodness on it before we uh, actually go to grill them. So we'll let this sit for a while. I'll clean up again and uh, should see you outside. Okay, we've got the grill up to about 350 degrees. Uh, we're gonna go with indirect heat to start. Take a look at it when it's done and uh, Maybe go with a reverse sear. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. It's getting a little bit windy out here. And uh, I think we have to invest in a decent mic. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to put it on and see what happens. I'm going to turn these two burners down on the far right to low. That seems to be able to keep my temperature right at about 350. I'm 
try to avoid the flames. Way in there, looking for 165 degrees, and we'll flip it here in a little bit too. Okay. Okay. Temperature maintaining about uh, uh, almost 300, a little bit lower than I'd like, but it's kind of cold out today. I'm going to go ahead and spin this 90 degrees just to keep it even and heated. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to take a quick temperature reading. Don't expect to be close. One oh four. So we probably have another forty minutes to go. Um, so let's just shut the lid. The lid's not down. You're not grilling. Check now. It's been about two hours. I did make an adjustment after about an hour where I turned the uh, turned it 90 degrees, put the legs way off the heat here. I uh, turned this burner completely off and just put this on, on high. So it's still maintaining the temperature. Uh, well, let's see. 151, 155, 160. Okay, I'm going to do uh, 165 is the temperature we're looking for. It's about 161. I'm going to take this and flip it over the direct flames just to get some color on those breasts. And we'll flip it back to serve. Oh, that smells great. And of course, we're going to let it rest, you know, for 15, 20 minutes uh, before we sample it. And I think you're really gonna like this. It uh, has a wonderful smell. What do you think, Pam? Yeah, it smells awesome. Yeah, the color is beautiful. Should be nice and moist. Uh, yeah, it should be really good. It's, it's been it's been a couple months since I made one of these, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that. See how juicy that is from the salt brine. You can just see the. It's nice. Look at that. Ooh. Take a look and see. <laughs> what do you think? All right, turn a 90 to 45 just to get the opposing grill marks on that. A nice finish. Oh, man. That dry rub has a nice smell to it. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Let's see what we have here, folks. Ah, look at the nice juices in there. Oh, that looks awesome. Wow. That dry brine, it's gonna be, this is gonna be sensational. Let me uh, take a little taste. What do you think out of the, let's go out of the breast here. Oh. You gotta get that skin in there. That's the best part. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The smell is that rub, the Simi J's rub. Ah. That is the most moist chicken I've had in ever. Really, honey, we're gonna do this more often. This too. You want to, here, you want to try this, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Am I right? Wow, that rub has really good flavor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this big handout, and I don't get any money from these guys or anything. Just love the product. It's available online. And since it's cold out and pretty windy, it'd be a great day to barbecue. No. What do you think, Pam? Yeah, it smells awesome. Yeah, the color. Oh, what do you think? It's awesome. In there. Oh, that looks awesome. We are ready for the taste test. And we have one very interesting customer over here. Yeah, yeah, he's big. <laughs> yeah.